Here we have decimal multiplication, uh, types 1 and 2. This time we have, uh, we're have we using partial products. So again, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying the expanded form of the numbers. So my first one is going to be 6 times 7, which gives me 42. Okay. Next, I have 6 times 80, which gives me 480, because 6 times 8 is 48. Then I add a 0 at the end. Moving along, I'm going to have 6 times 400, which gives me 2,400. So I'm done with the 6. Now I move on to the 5, which we represent as 50. 50 times 7 is 350. Ryan, you down here? <laughs> All right, I experienced some technical difficulties along the way, so let's pick up at 50 times 7 because the 5 represents 50. The 7 represents the 7, so that's 350. Okay, So then I'm going to multiply 50 times, oops, it's not 50 times 50, it's 50 times 80. And 5 times 8 is 40, plus I add two more zeros on there, which gives me 4,000. Okay. Still one last to go. So 5 times 400, so 5 times 4 is 20, plus I add three zeros. So 2 zero, three more zeros. Then I finally add them together. Okay, Two plus all those zeros gives me two. Four plus eight plus five, so that's twelve, seventeen. Seven, carry the one. Five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, carry the one. Three and four is seven. And then two. Now, remember, I got to go get a highlighter, figure out how many place values I have to the right of the decimal. So one, two, three. So I go down to my product, count over one, count over two, count over three, and then I need to put my decimal point in there. So my answer is 27 and 272 thousandths. So again, let's check to make sure I'm right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with four times five. 4 times 5 equals 20. And I'm going to add one to each of those. 5 times 6, which equals 30. So is my answer in between 20 and 30? Is 27 and 7, 272 thousandths in between 20 and 30? That's correct. So chances are we are on the right path. We got it right. Thank you very much. And that is decimal multiplication type 2.